There's a very beautiful hadith by, by, uh, from Ubayy ibn Ka'b radiyallahu an. Truly. Imam Tirmidhi rahmatullahi relates this hadith that Ubayy ibn Ka'b radiyallahu an says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam addressed the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum and said to them, O believers, he encouraged them to rise at night and to pray. And then he mentioned the names of the Day of Judgment and said, they have come. And death has come with all that it brings. Death has come with all that it brings. So he was encouraging the believers that rise and pray at night. Then Ubayy radiallahu an said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Ya Rasulallah, I... And what it means is that when I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I worship Allah, when I do my ibadah, and when I pray to Allah for myself, so when I do dua, when I supplicate, I ukthiru salata alayk, I excessively mention salat and salam on you, in my own personal dua. That's the meaning of the hadith, that... So Ubayr radiyallahu an said to him, what it is, the whole hadith is as follows. The, at the beginning of the hadith, Ubayr radiyallahu an simply relates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum to rise at night and pray. Then Ubayr radiyallahu anhu says that I said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, inni ukthiru salata alayk, I excessively send salat and salam on you. And what that means is that, I'm explaining so that we can understand the rest of the hadith, that when I pray to Allah, even the connection may be that at night in the hajjad, when I rise at night and I pray to Allah, these words aren't mentioned, this is the explanation, that when I rise at night and when I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, during my prayer and my supplication and my pleading with and beseeching Allah, for my own personal things, in that dua, during that supplication, I excessively send salat and salam upon you. So, Ya Rasulullah, how much of my dua should be salat and salam upon you? How much of my dua should I make and devote to just salat and salam upon you? So the Prophet wasallam said, Ma shit, whatever you wish, however much you wish. So Ubay radiallahu anhu said, Ya Rasulullah, a quarter? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, if you wish, but if you do more, then it's better for you. So Ubay radiallahu anhu said, half Ya, ya Rasulullah, meaning half of my dua, should I devote half of my dua and supplication just to salat and salam upon you? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, if you wish, but if you do more, it's even better for you. So Ubayy radiyallahu anhu said, Ya Rasulullah, should I devote two-thirds of my whole dua and supplication just to salat and salam upon you? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you wish, but if you do more, it's even better for you. So Ubayy radiyallahu anhu said, Ya Rasulullah, what if I was to devote my entire dua just to salat and salam upon you? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَنْ tukfa hammak." In that case, all your concerns will be taken care of and your sin shall be forgiven. Imagine. All your concerns will be taken care of and your sin shall be forgiven. Salat and salam upon the Prophet should be part of the repertoire of a believer, should be part of his language, should be part of his regular recitation. Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu would send salat and salam when leaving the house, not just when entering the masjid and leaving the masjid, coming in and out of the house, sitting down for, for food, rising from food. He would send salat and salam on almost every occasion. Ubayy ibn Ka'b radiallahu anhu says, what if I devote my entire dua just to salat and salam upon you?